Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Thank you so much for being on time, class. Um, another day, another opportunity. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Rene Escamilla, and I'm going to explain, I will try to explain another topic tonight. All right, we are going to review um, some uh, options, you know, tips that we checked last night, all right? So very good, very good. Congratulations to the one that are on time. That's a, a, a point, point up uh, for you guys, all right? Because uh, all the time you need to be on time on anything that you do, all right? Try to be on time, okay? So very good. Eight o'clock, let's rock and roll the class, okay? Let's see. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, please. We are going to review. Give me one second over here. All right. Are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. We're not gonna waste much time, right? Like, just, like yesterday, right? So remember yesterday we work, you know, and we didn't stop practicing, right? So now let me read this part, I mean, this lovely quote, all right? And we are going to practice together, all right? So remember, if Mr. Escamilla is talking too fast, Mándeme la manita virtual y dígame, hey, 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 slow down, and slow down, relax, take it easy, take it easy. I don't know what happens, but you get a feeling, right? When it's Friday, you get a feeling like you feel like, a, oh, my goodness, today is Friday, right? But tomorrow, we need to do a lot of things, right? So we need to go shopping. I mean, we need to go to the market. That's the first thing that we always do, right? Yes? What you guys do all the time? Every weekend, I mean, on weekends, what you guys do? Gabriel, what you guys, what, what you do on weekends with your family? No, I, on weekend, well, uh, tomorrow mm -hmm. I will go to the San Michael City. To okay. Go. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, but, you know, in my case, what I usually do, you see, I'm using the classes, all right? Let's try to use what we've been learning, okay? Tratemos de usar lo que hemos, hemos aprendido, okay? What I, what I usually do on weekends, it's, you know, I like to go to, I mean, to the market. All right, I live by myself, of course, right? So I, I'm, a single, I'm a single man and I go by myself, all right? So I just live with my mother. It's something that you don't need to, you don't even, I mean, you don't need to know, but I'm letting you know what I usually do. All right, I go to the market and I get my groceries, my stuff for the 15 days that I'm going to be working till I get paid again, right? And I believe everybody does the same thing, right? You should use, I mean, you should uh, do this. I believe you guys uh, do that. You guys are, are doing the same stuff, all right? So, and that's what I'm trying to tell you tonight, okay? So now let's trip. I mean, let me read this um, lovely quote. And then we are going to practice together, okay? Dreams don't work unless you do, all right? So let me read it back to you once again. It's really it's really interesting, this quote. Pay attention. It is not fácil de entenderlo, right? Dreams don't work unless you do, all right? ¿Qué quiere decir? Mis estimados, los sueños no trabajan. A menos, que los a, hagas. Menos, a menos que tú los hagas, right? All right, so, eh, pero si usted empezó una clase o dijo, ah, no me gusta este teacher porque solo inglés habla. Después el otro dice, no, no me gusta tampoco este teacher porque solo español habla. Ah, no me gusta el tercero porque solo vino a hablar de su vida personal. El cuarto, ni se ve, solo nos ponía en los break rooms. No, you need to be working, all right, so. You need to be working, all right? So just pay attention on the things that you think that you are going to get something for you, all right? So remember, dreams don't work unless you do. Let's repeat, dreams don't work. Dreams don't work. Dreams don't work. Unless you do. Unless you do. Unless you do. All right, but, but we forgot the magic word, right? What was the magic word that, I, <clears throat> that we forgot? What was the, the magic word that we always said at the beginning of the class? Motivation. Motivation. Mo motivation, motivation, right? Motivation. motivation. Excellent. Very good. We need to be motivated all the time, all right? So, and like the way we are today, 
We need to be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? We need to be with this um uh, with this attitude, right? We need to be, I mean, happy. Yes, uh, Gabriel, go ahead. In this case, the the uh, the, the word trans work. The translations. No, the word works. Uh, uh -huh. We can translation how to function. Porque la, la traducción me sale, los sueños no funcionan a menos que tú los exacto, hagas. Exacto, exacto, exacto. Acuérdese de que eh, el, el, como no es prototipo, sino que el, ¿cómo se llama? El sinónimo es similar. Por eso es un sinónimo, ¿verdad? Entonces, acuérdese de que eh, usted puede decir, los sueños no funcionan, no caminan. No, no se elaboran, no se completan, and on and on and on, right? So, usted ahí le pone el entorno, el contexto donde lo quiere aplicar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este, yo creo que este, este, este sería para, si, se mira así como que fuera una, un, un mensaje para un gimnasio, ¿verdad? Se mira así hasta con el color, como un gym, así como que usted llegó bien flaquito, así, y pesando como uno... No sé, en kilos, no sé cómo cuánto se pesa, pero pesando una, unas 100 libras, y usted quiere aumentar peso, quiere aumentar unas, este, unas 80 libras más para estar así bien, así como yo, ¿verdad? Bien, bien, bien galán, no, mentiras, para estar bien así, pero galán de barriga, ¿verdad? <risa> entonces, no, entonces usted mira eso y dice, oh, este contexto es para el gym, right Dreams don't work unless you do. Y usted va a ver a un muchacho flaquito y a otro bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Bien fuerte, entonces... Y así sucesivamente usted lo va a aplicar en diferentes contextos, ¿verdad? Entonces, te puede poner este, este dreams don't work. Uh, and, I'm sorry, dreams don't, uh, let's see, don't work, pero en el sentido de que usted lo va, lo va a aplicar en un sentido de, de, de estudio, ¿verdad? No funcionan, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque si usted lo pone, no funciona, le va a poner lo mismo, don't work. All right, so... Pero por ahí vamos. Está bien la, la, la el, ¿cómo se llama? El detalle o la observación que usted me acaba de hacer, Gary. Ok, so, very good. All right, so, let's repeat one more time. Dreams don't work unless you do. Dreams, Dreams don't, work unless, don't you do. work unless you do. Excellent, all right, excellent. All right, so, if I do ask a question, plural question, right? So, uh, what would be your dream? Let me ask five people, five people, I mean, five guys, five students, all right? So it would be plural, it's still, it's still plural, right? So let me ask, uh, let's see the ones that has the camera activated or uh, the camera's on, let's see. <clears throat> let's see, Thomas, what would be your dream? Paul? What would be yeah, your I mean, dream? My, my, my dream is, is is learn mm -hmm. a level expert to english excellent very good very good precise and concise remember precise and concise virginia tell me what would be your dream good morning teacher is good evening good evening my, good evening uh, no good morning good evening okay. well, sorry sorry <laughs> Vengo un poco de uh, good evening teacher uh, my dream is um um speak English. Uh -huh. Learn to speak English. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. What okay, excellent. Okay. Precise and concise. Let's see. Uh Jose, what would be your dream? Or what is your dream? Uh, my dream is uh learn English and uh try to speak better. Excellent, very good. Juana, what is your dream? Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Chop chop. My dream is Learn English. Mm -hmm. All right. So very good, very good. What about you, Maria del Carmen? What is your dream, uh, young lady? Uh, my dream is learn to speak better and travel. Excellent, excellent, very good. Those, I mean, you change, right? You change. Iris, what did you dream? Cameras on, please, everybody. Cameras on. Remember, Iris, what did you dream? Or what would be your dream? Good evening. Good evening. Um, dream is uh, 
Mm, fine formal word. Okay. All right, very good, very good. What about you, Susie? Or oh, Susana Jaime? What would be your dream? My dream is travel around the world, teacher. Oh my goodness, traveling around the world. Very good, very good. Camera on, please, Susie. All right, so remember guys that we need to be completing. This is a, a message, right, from our uh, coordination, all right? So coordinators all the time are communicate, communicating, right, the, the information or the things that you guys need to do. I want you to guys complete the activities and the exercises that we have through our platform. We are aware about that, okay? So now, last question. Let's see, Joao, what is your dream? You always participate, Joao. Tell me, what is your dream, uh, sir? Thank you, sir. My dream is freedom of time, financial freedom, and travel the world. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. So now this is for everybody. This question is for everybody. What you guys are doing in order to complete this dream? What you guys are doing in order to make the dream come true? ¿Qué están haciendo para que ese sueño se convierta en realidad, en verdad? All right, so what you guys are doing? Ahí está la respuesta en el, en el, en el mensaje que acaban de leer. Remember, escenarios, escenarios, escenarios. All right, so acuérdense de eso para que aprendamos rápido. No, no, no. I am working, working hard. hard. Work Excellent, very good. You see, you see, I'm working hard. I'm working starting, hard. I'm starting every day. I am practicing every day with my family, with my kids. I practice with my dog, all right? I don't have nobody, but I talk with my dog, all right? I talk with my pet, all right? So from now on, guys, everything, I mean, no sé si lo dijeron esto al principio, su primer maestro que tuvieron, pero yo cuando agarro una, no, perdón, mi persona, cuando agarro un grupo, siempre tengo, digo yo, perdón. All right, so the thing is that all the time we are speaking or talking English, right? So, and we always said, I am, I am, I am, y se nos cambia el, el panorama. Anyways, uh, lo que le decía, si usted no tiene con quién hablar, hable con las, con las, uh, con los perritos, los gatos, las tortugas, los pajaritos, ¿verdad? Si no le dijeron este contexto o esta información en la primera clase, no sé por qué, pero yo le digo a mi, a mi grupo, you need to change everything. Si su, si su celular lo anda en español, switch it, switch it to, into English, right? Que cuesta, sí cuesta, pero usted tiene que cambiar su, como decimos en el buen salvadoreño, su cassette. Usted tiene que cambiar su hard disk. Lo español lo, español lo tiene que cambiar. Ah, usted o sea, me, me, está, me está quitando mi español. No, no se lo estoy quitando. Le estoy diciendo que ahorita está aprendiendo inglés y esa va a ser una manera rápida para que usted aprenda. Pero si usted quiere seguir así, se va a tardar un poco más. Ok, very good. Excellent. Let's rock and roll. Let's see the, the objectives. Uh, let's see the objectives. The objectives that we checked last class, last night, were uh, the next one. I mean, are the next one. I'm sorry. Let's see. And it says like this, the session you will listen, a conversation where common health problems are mentioned using infinity complements. All right. En esta clase escucharán una conversación donde se mencionan los problemas comunes de salud usando el complemento infinitivo. Ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Tenemos una idea de cuáles son los infinitives, right? All right. Solo es de poner, uh -huh. acuérdense, to change, to walk, to read, to sleep. That is the infinitive. When you guys are going to apply those, all right, so I tell you in a moment, I will give you some examples. Over here, we have um, the adjectives or the objective uh, for this lovely night, right? It says like this, in this session, you will listen vocabulary related to containers following this part, a conversation between a pharmacist and a customer will take place, model verse for requests and suggestions are introduced, okay? So, vamos a hablar de las, uh, su, uh, las sugerencias. Vamos a hablar de los advices, all right? So, when, uh, when somebody's telling you, uh, or when you said, I suggest to, I suggest to visit the doctor. Porque yo veo a Gabriel que está con una gripe que ni él se la aguanta, ¿verdad? Está ahí con con una toalla y, Dios mío, estaba esto, yo le digo, Gabriel, I suggest to visit, I suggest you to go to the doctor. 
te sugiero, o sea, esa es una, o sea, le estoy sugiriendo. ¿Qué quiere decir sugerir? ¿Qué se le viene a la cabeza a usted? Es como más mandatorio, ¿verdad? ¿O me puede dar usted alguna op opinión diferente? Ayúdeme. Suggestion o sugerir, ¿qué se le viene a su, a su cabecita? Dígame, Laura. Go ahead. Recomendación, teacher. Recomendación, ah, en el sentido de, de que... No es, ajá, no es ordenar, sino que solamente es... Te recomiendo, te recomiendo que vayas porque te vas a enfermar más. Sí, sí. Sí, es válido, es válido. Anybody else? Como pedir un favor. Mm, ok, ok, ok. Yeah, es como like, a, hey, please, do me a favor. Es como que usted está con sus loved ones, right? Usted, loved ones quiere decir con sus, sus queridos, su gente querida. Si usted está con su esposo, su esposa, su mamá, su papá, yo veo a mi mamá enferma y, y la veo así y ella está de... De que no, 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 I don't want to see the doctor. Yo le digo, mommy o mother. Espérenme, voy, voy a pagar ahí, voy a pagar ahí la novela. Espérenme, espérenme, espérenme. Que estoy oyendo la novela ahí. Vaya. La Rosa de Guadalupe ya terminó. Ok. Entonces, este, yo le digo a, ma, le digo a mi mamá, mom, go to the doctor, go and, ch go and, go and check, go, go to the hospital. No. Mom, do me a favor. I love you so much. Go to the doctor. I don't want something uh, something worse happen to you. No quiero que algo más grave te, te pase. Visita al doctor, andar al hospital. I, I will take you to the doctor. Ya empieza usted, ¿verdad? All right, very good, okay? So tenemos una idea que es suggestion, right? When somebody... Es como aconsejar, teacher. Advice, Some... teacher. Advice <laughs> es como, uh, como una advertencia. Aquí lo puse, mira. Aquí dice advice es como un consejo. Consejo, I advise you, all right? ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí. Yes. Very good. Suggestion is sugerencia. I advise, if for, exa for example, if I said, my advice for you guys in order to learn to speak English, it's practice, 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 because practice make the master, all right? Mi consejo para que usted aprenda a hablar, a escribir, a leer, a escuchar un mejor inglés es que practique porque la práctica hace al maestro, ¿ok? Advice es un consejo, ¿verdad? So, o como cuando usted aconseja, digamos, a un, a un teenager, ¿verdad? Right? A, un, a un adolescente. Usted ya pasó por tal vez una, una etapa de su vida bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Y usted no quiere que esta persona pase por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Independientemente seamos hombres o mujeres, ¿verdad? Entonces usted le dice, hey, Digamos, le dice primo, ¿verdad? Hey, cousin, I advise you to do not go to those places because you will get in troubles. Te, te aconsejo que no vayas a esos lugares porque te vas a meter en problemas. All right? So, are we clear with, uh, with advice and suggestion? Yes? All right, very good. Re repeat, advice. 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 Suggestions. Suggestion. 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 Okay. 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 Okay and have a better understanding about this, all right? Give me one second. Let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now. Yes? Are yes. you able to see the infinitives? Yes? Yes. 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 All right, so we do have on the on your left or right side where you see the little girl with the, with the, the, with the stick on it, all right? So la niña que está con el palito y dice usage and examples, all right? Donde se usa y los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Dice, to indicate a purpose of an action. Para indicar el, ¿cómo se dice? El purpose, como el, ¿cómo se dice? Purpose, uh, you may help me. Uh, to indicate the purpose, propósito. el propósito. Very good. Purpose. To indicate the, 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 para indicar el propósito purpose. de una acción. All right, so él dice así. He bought some flowers to give to his wife. Let's repeat everybody. He bought 
Sunflowers. 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 To give to his wife. To give to his wife. All right. Mm -hmm. I will lock the door to prevent a thief. I will All right. So remember the. Que ya le había dicho y se lo repito nuevamente en todas las clases se lo voy a repetir que una vez le dije yo no no, no se preocupe de eso no pero no después cambié de idea y yo le dije no sí preocúpese por los eh, los grammar points los puntos gramaticales all right so usted dice ah ok qué dice está dormido ya el perdón quién se durmió bueno, no, no sabe. vamos a poner sí. aquí emítame ok me one second all right, so, usted dice, okay, I'm going to learn the usage and, and says like this, to indicate the purpose of an action. Para indicar el, el propósito o el, ah, el propósito de una acción. All right, so, but, entonces dice abajo, a subject of the sentence, como un sujeto de la oración. Solo como un sujeto de la oración o como un objeto directo de la oración. Aquí casi no se alcanza a ver, pero lo vamos a leer. Dice... To wait seems foolish when the size actions was required. To swim in the sea may be dangerous, all right? So, nadar en el, en el mar podía ser peligroso, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, to wait seems foolish when the side action was required, all right? So, en la otra dice, as direct object of a sentence, I like to write in English. All right, so, entonces, para no confundirlo, acuérdese de que esto no es que lo va a tomar así, ah, sí, 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 ya, ya lo entendí, no. Es, sería recomendable que usted se lo, si tiene esa mente que yo la quisiera, la, la, la hubiese querido tener, ¿verdad? Como, como le llaman mente fotográfica, ¿verdad? Así le dicen, ¿verdad? Que solo miran y, y ya se les quedó. ¿Verdad? Yo no sé si hay alguno aquí así, pero ese es un don de Dios, ¿verdad? Entonces, I would like to have those, uh, uh, I mean, those, uh, how do you call this? Uh, I would like to have uh, those things on me, I mean, the, in order to show you how, how well I can do my work, all right? So, okay, so are we clear with the infinitive, guys, infinitives? ¿Estamos claros con los infinitos? Si yo le pregunto a, uh, let's see, vamos a ver, quiero ver quién está por aquí. Mi eh, estimada Orquídea Escobar. Good evening, Orquídea. Good evening, teacher. Very good, very good. If I do ask you, miss, what do you think, what do you think about infinitives? What is infinitives for you? Or how, uh, or to who we call infinitives? ¿A quién le llamamos los infinitos en la gramática? Um, it's a verb. A verb, uh huh. And verb, what is it? What is the verb? It's an action. Uh huh. No, it is an sentence. action. In the sentence. In the sentence, yes, it is. But the verb needs to be changed or needs to be base form. Uh, is the base form? Base form, right? Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. That's what you need to understand, and you need to keep in your mind, right? What infinitives are. Porque ustedes le van a decir, por ejemplo, no sé si le dije la vez pasada, le pueden decir, okay, Iris, describe yourself in three different adjectives. Remember that I told you? What would be your answer? Ah, un adjetivo ya, ese piece of cake, right? So viene Iris y me dice, okay, I, I can describe myself in three different adjectives. I am a proactive person. I'm a, a easygoing person. I like to work under pressure and I am a very friendly person. All right. So she described herself in four different adjectives. Okay. Ya entendemos que es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, si, así como entiende que es un adjetivo, usted tiene que entender todos los puntos gramaticales. All right. Y créame de que cuando ya vaya más adelante, usted va a decir, oh my goodness, I learned a lot of information. I remember when I used to be, I mean, when I used to have the classes with Mr. Escamilla, and now I learn more and more and more, because, porque esto es, no le digo infinito, pero este, 
ahí se va, ahí lo va a ver más adelante. Y ustedes, ahí se va a acordar de mí. ¿no? Ahí se va a decir, Dios mío, esto está tremendo, ¿verdad? Si le ando yendo a la matemática, pues aquí vino algo casi similar, bien bonito, ¿verdad? Que todos dicen, voy a aprender inglés porque no quiero matemática. Dice, ese fui yo. Ay, hasta matemática me dieron en una materia en la universidad de inglés. Ok, das punto y aparte. All right, so let's see. Another example over here. Give me one second. Let's see. It says like this, infinity phrase. Give me one moment. Let's see. Vamos a ver, vamos a cerrar este. Vamos a agrandar este. All right, infinity phrase. All right, so esto es como un ejemplo bien, no secundario, pero bien particular, como usted lo va a identificar nuevamente para que lo tenga más claro. Dice, the infinity form of a verb plus any complements or modifiers, all right, so ¿qué dice acá? I want to bury the treasure quickly I want to bury the treasure quickly entonces usted mira ahí el infinity form, ya sabemos que es to bury, right? so, que creo, que, 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 ese, que ese, ¿quién es este señor? ¿qué será este señor? ¿o qué se le viene a la cabecita que dice acá? pero sin traducir nada, así solo proyectándose con escenarios porque así tiene que actuar usted. ¿Quién es ese señor? Un es un pirata y... Es un pirata. Eh... Y el treasure, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué se le viene a su, a su mente? ¿Qué es un treasure? Un tesoro. Un tesoro, tesoro ¿verdad? Excelente. Y cuando dice, I want to bury, ese, ahí usted dice, oh, Dios mío, este verbo no me lo sé, pero viene acá, ¿verdad? Como usted es multitasking, dice, to bury, te, te va a encontrar ahí que dice, I want to bury, quiero sepultar o quiero enterrar. El tesoro rápidamente, quickly, all right? Y mire, es el, es el modifier, all right? So, ¿qué es un modifier? Es un adverbio, quickly, all right? I want to bury the treasure quickly. All right, let's repeat. I want to bury the treasure quickly. Come on, let's go. I want, I want to, bury to bury the treasure quickly. I want to bury the treasure quickly. All right, so now, are we clear? With this infinity phrases, guys. Estamos claros que lo vamos a identificar. Y acuérdese que esto no es confusión, ¿verdad? Que le quede bien claro nuevamente que no usted, usted no me va a estar este, pensando en esta manera. Ah, hoy voy a hablar infinitives en esta conversación con, con mi jefe. Y viene usted y, y se programa que solo infin, infinitivos le va a mencionar, ¿verdad? Que I want to eat, I want to eat, and also I want to sleep, and besides I want to walk, and then I want to, y, y empieza usted solo a decir eso, no, no es así. Usted, suddenly you will be talking, you know, you will be expressing those uh, uh, terms, no, not terms, you will be expressing those uh, words without thinking, All right, like the way we did, remember that when we were checking adverbs of frequency, que yo les pregunté, usted se dio cuenta que estaba diciendo adverbios de frecuencia, ¿verdad que no? Ni por cerca. Usted, usted dijo, adverbios de frecuencia, usted solo lo dijo. O sea, yo le pregunté a Diego, Diego, how, how, often, how often do you take a shower during the day? And what would be your answer, Diego? I often take a shower one time in the day. Okay, very good. All right, so in my case, uh, when I'm home, because I'm working in, uh, in my office, right? So, but I usually, I mean, se da cuenta, ahí lo estoy, ya estoy, ya estoy mencionando los adverbs of frequency, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros no estamos diciendo, no, yo no le estoy diciendo a Diego, 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 mira, 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 hablemos de la frecuencia. Que no se dé cuenta nadie, hablemos a, a ver de frecuencia. All right, very good. Ok, <clears throat> y empieza Diego. Eh, I usually, I normally, uh, sometimes, mm, never, very, uh, well, what is it, what, what else? Let's see. Y me lo empieza a decir todo, no. Ahorita yo le dije, I usually take a shower when I am home, working from home. Believe it or not, I take like a four times, I mean, four showers during the day. Because it's too hot. Where I'm living is too hot. But, but when I'm working in my office, of course, in the morning, I take a shower once. And when I come back, I take, uh, I take another shower. All right. So practically, I have two showers during the day. Okay. Very good. Excellent. 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 All right. So now, let's see. Vamos a chequear. 
parte de la esto lo vimos ayer. Pueden ver la plataforma. Yes, can you see that? Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right, yes. we're ready. We already checked this part over here. Remember that we check these uh, exercises. You see, those are the infinitives that are the ones that complete the sentences from one to five, right? So let's repeat, to take. To take. To drink. To take. To drink. To drink. To put. To drink. To put. To see. To see. To take. To take. Excellent. Let's see. Okay. Let's jump to the next exercise. All right. So, and we already checked this uh, objective. And this is the topic that we're going to double check in a minute. All right. So, but let's watch, let's watch this video real quick. And then we, we're going to double check another thing. Okay. Pay attention. Hi. Ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something please. for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. Very good. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest mm. anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? All right, very good, very good. Do you guys pay attention to the whole conversation? Yes? Yes. A little yeah. bit, right? So if you want, I can play it back once again just to make sure that we understood the conversation. Do you want me to do that? Hi, ready? Yes, teacher, perfect. The conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have... All right, so let me just make a short emphasis over here, guys. All right, so as you can see, this, uh, this guys or this conversation are using a lot of information that we already know, right? But the topic here is how do you suggest? ¿Cómo usted sugiere algo? ¿A dónde lo va a aplicar? ¿Verdad? La señora le dice que, dice, primero el señor le dice, hi, me I help you? ¿Le puedo ayudar? Sí. Could I have? Mire, le dije la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Se lo dijo ella, bien polite, right? Así tiene que hablar usted, bien bonito, bien bonita. Polite, all right? Could I have something for cough? Pues, eh, ¿Me podría ayudar con algo para la tos? Viene le dice, I think I'm, I'm de ella le dice, I, I think I am getting cold. Pienso, eh, pienso que me estoy resfriando. Viene el, 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 farma, el farmacista, allá, o el, ya, yeah, así le dice, ¿verdad? Este, le dice, ok, te sugiero una caja de este gotas o una caja de gotas para la tos, ¿verdad? O un bote para un bote para la tos, ¿verdad? Y le dice, ok, thank you, gracias. Y le dice, what do you suggest for dry skin? ¿Qué sugieres tú para una piel seca? Entonces viene, le dice, try some of these lotions, it's very good. Le dice, trata una de estas lociones, son muy buenas. All right. Ok, le dice, and one more thing, le dice, no, otra cosa más, le dice, mi esposo está falto de energía estos días, ¿qué me sugieres? ¿Tienes alguna, 
Le dice, can you suggest anything? ¿Puedes sugerirme algo? Y le dice él, ahí mira, ahí está, y le dice, he, ella le dice, he should try, he sh el farmacista le dice, he should try some of these multivitamins. Él, de él debería de, el que probar estas eh, multivitaminas, ellas son excelentes. Oh, grandioso. May I have three large bottles, please? Le dice, dame tres botellas grandes. Very good. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's stop right here. Give me one second. All right. Are you guys are following me with the, with the, with the class, guys? Me están siguiendo con la clase. Yes? yes. Estamos, estamos bien? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Yes, very teacher. Good. Excellent. Yes. All right, so we are going to double check the platform. I mean, your you know, your ebook. All right, so we're gonna get back a little bit. We're gonna check some information from previous topics. All right, so, and these ones are, you know, health problems. Remember that we are applying the topics from, I mean, the, the previous topics, and now we have a subtopics as well. Tenemos unos temas y Ahora tenemos los subtemas donde estamos aplicando lo que son los, gram los puntos gramaticales. All right. So, ¿cuáles eran esos eh, puntos gramaticales? Let's find out. Ok, let's see. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Uh, Susie and Joao, please be my guest. Susie is going to be Joan and, and Joao, uh, great. Go ahead. In conversation, conversation, sí, in conversation. Lo, okay. lo, lo logran ver, no, no se ve. No, está, está... no, no, okay, okay, no, okay, 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 very good. No, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. Got you over here. Es que hay mucha información y quiero que darles todo este día. Okay, so try to be faster, okay? So, pero léame, okay, let's go. Vamos, one, two, three, four, let's go. Susi and Joao, please go ahead. Joan and Craig? Okay. Yes. Not okay. so yes, good. I... I have a terrible cold. Uh, perdón, voy a empezar. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be, uh, be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot, a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I have, um, I'm happy you take anything for it. No, I haven't. Well, it's time helpful to eat, 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 excuse me, to eat garlic soap. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook in the kitchen stove. Try. I eat really work. Joke. That sounds awful. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, Amalia and Jose, come in. Let's go. Be my guest. Amalia, Joan. Teacher. Uh... Teacher. Yes. Please hold uh -huh. some, please. Sure. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Simone. Better? Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Joan, yo. Yes, go ahead. Hi. Cry, how are you? No, no. good. Okay, sorry. No, so good. I have a terrible cold. Really, that's too bad. You should be at home at bed. It's really important to get yeah. a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. I have you talking anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, I sometimes have food to hit garlic soup. You shut with boar, <coughs> head of garlic, I could eat chicken stock treat and really work. Uh, really yo, work. Yo, that uh, sound uh, awful. awful. Okay, very good, excellent. Jose Arminio okay. and Juana, thank you. 
Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Juana, Juana. Hi, great. You, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible call. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you take anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soap. You chop up a wall, add a garlic, and cook it in chicken and soap. Try it, it really works. Yeah, that's a Okay. All right, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Gabriel and Maria, be my guest. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hi. How are you? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soap. Just chop up a whole hill garlic of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Yuck. That's so awful. Sounds. Let's repeat everybody. Sounds. 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 Very good. Sounds. Excellent. Okay, let's see Joao and Orkidia Escobar. Be my guest, please. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Joao and Orkidia, be my guest. Come on, let's go. Hi, Gray. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's the bed. You should be at, uh, at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot to get a lot the rest. Yeah, you are right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat, to eat garlic soap. Just chop up a wall of head of garlic and, and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Excellent. Very good. Iris and Henry, please be my guests. Go ahead. Come on. Let's go. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Iris, are you there? And yes, but with my partner. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right. Hi, Ray. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It is really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you are right. And have you taste anything for it? No, I haven't. Well. No. Okay. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up. A uh, wolf, heat of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try, try it. It really works. Juke, really that works. sounds awful. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Sonia Pinti and Miriam Maricela. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Sonia Pinti and Maricela, please. All right, so uh, Thomas and Rosa play test. Be my guest. Go ahead. Sorry, Hi. Please. My microphone didn't work. Doesn't work. Okay, okay. Después van ustedes, Thomas. Go ahead. 
Vamos, 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 vamos. Mi lo teacher. Lo, lo primero que mencioné, lo primero que mencioné, y después va a ir Tomás con, con Rosa. Hi, Craig, how are you? No, so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yes, you are right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. You shut up a whole heat of garlic and cook it in the in kitchen, in chicken. Chicken stock, try it. It really works. You that so a food. That sounds awful, all right? So very good. Okay, Thomas and Miriam, go ahead. Oh, yes, Thomas and Kendi, Thomas and Miriam. Rosa. Oh, Rosa, I'm sorry, Thomas and Rosa. Okay, go ahead. Después Diego and Miriam, okay? Come on, let's go. Hi, guys. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You could be the home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of, of rest. Yeah, you are right. And have you take anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic sounds. Use short book a uh, word heart of garlic and cut it the kitchen of Kitchen stock try its its very work. You that song awful. Okay, let's go. Next one. Next uh next uh, uh partners. Go ahead. Hey Craig, who are you? No, so good. I have a terrible cold. Really, that's so bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yes, you are right. And you have taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's something helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook in the in, in cooking in kitchen stock. Try it. It really works. That's so awful. Okay, excellent. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, give me one second. ¿Quién no ha participado? Vamos a ver. Levántame la manita. Si no, pues pasamos a otra actividad. Rápido. Me right. teacher. Okay, okay Jenny, 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 and uh, let's see. Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Yeah, Elizabeth. Okay, go ahead. Jenny and Elizabeth. Vamos, let's go. Okay, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to have a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. I have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soap just chop put a wallet heat on garlic and cook in the chicken stock try it really war jack that sounds awful okay okay who else who else uh, want to participate everybody participate yes todos participaron 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, very yeah. good, very good, very good, very good. Let's see, vamos a pasar a otro, este, ¿cómo se llama? Topic, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ok, si se da cuenta, esto ya lo vimos. Um, estábamos viendo estas, estos um, health problems, right? So, we have these health problems over here. Permítame. Health problems. And, permítame. We already know what a sore what a sore throat is a fever a tooth a toothache and a, a burn right cuando se quema entonces sabemos we we already know how we can mention or how we can express when this situation happens right for example if I said what I should do if I burn my hand what would be the answer I should put como dijo no sé si José Riverto dijo anoche or I should apply all right, some omnimet, right? On my hand or some cream, right? To put away. Pero otro dijo, I should rub. Oh my goodness, tiene una gran quema y se va a estar sobando. Y dije, se quiere arruinar la mano. Ni que fuera biónica, ¿verdad? Se la quiere deshacer, mejor dicho. Se iba, se iba a poner tomate con sal. Exacto, pasta de diente. <laughs> All right, pronunciation, reduction. Okay, esto es aparte. Vamos a ver, discussion. What do you do in the situation? Think of three of I mean, think of three suggestions for each situation. All right. So, esta es parte del tema que estamos desarrollando en este momento. Solo déjenme compartirle algo rápidamente. Vamos a ver. Un momento. Esta es la, la PPT que les... Uh, one second. All right, let me see if you are able to see what I'm checking. Hold on one second. This is not what I'm what I'm checking right now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, give me one second, please. Jesus Christ, what's going on? What happens? All right. Okay. Ya quiere descanso, dice. Ya quiere descanso. No, no. I have to work tomorrow. Either, either way, I have to work. Okay, so we have this uh, PPT. Let me just share it real quick with you guys. We're going to pass Liz in a minute. All right, so... Okay, and it go like this, right? So expressions of asking, giving, refusing, accepting, suggestion, recommendation. No solamente les traigo suggestion, sino que les traigo expression of asking, giving, refusing, accepting, suggestion, and recommendation, all right? So let's repeat everybody. Expression of asking. Expression, expression, of of expression, expression of asking. Expression of asking. Giving. Expression of asking. Giving. Refusing. Giving. Giving. Refusing. Giving. Refusing. Acceptance. Acceptance. Suggestion. Suggestion. Recommendation. Recommendation. Excellent. All right. So definitions and purpose of suggestion definition of suggestion this is it suggestion is an idea or plan put forward for for consideration purpose of suggestion to ask and give suggestion to someone and give responses to the suggestion whether accepting or refusing it to help someone who needs any suggestion or advice by giving our personal idea and opinion in our daily life all right so Practically, usted sabe que una, 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 una sugerencia es solamente para dársela a alguien que usted le quiere dar este, respuestas como sugerencias, ya lo quiere aceptar o lo quiera este, desa, ¿cómo se dice? desechar, ¿verdad? No sé si esa es la palabra correcta en español, ¿verdad? O, 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 o no lo... No lo... Espérame que voy a, apagar, voy a quitar la novela, permítame. No sé dónde está la novela que ya la Rosa Guadalupe ya terminó, permítame. Vamos a ver. Sorry about that, guys. 
y que come el teacher, ¿verdad? que adivino. No, ya terminó, ¿eh? empieza de 6 a 7. Bien se sabe el, 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 el horario, ¿verdad? Ok, dice, expressions of suggestion. Asking for, asking for suggestion, giving suggestion, responding suggestions. Accepting suggestion, refusing suggestion. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? El concepto de este mapa es que prácticamente está bien explicado, ¿verdad? Dice, las expresiones de, la, de las sugerencias pueden ser como preguntando por una sugerencia, dando una sugerencia, respondiendo una sugerencia, aceptando una sugerencia o rechazando una sugerencia. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? ¿Estamos claros ahí? Yes, Porque alguien, alguien, alguien a usted le va a dar una sugerencia, o sea, alguien le va a dar una sugerencia y usted la va a rechazar, ¿verdad? Yes, si, si vamos así, un ejemplo, con todo respeto, le digo a mi estimado José Heriberto, con todo respeto, ¿verdad? Este, le digo, Mr. José, Mr. Joseph, right? So, yo soy el, 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 el nativo, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer que okay. el de ojos azules y pelo así bien, bien güero, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le digo, Mr. Mr. Joseph, I suggest you to tint your hair black, please. Because I don't want to see you in my class with a white hair. What would be I your don't answer? Know. What would be your answer? Con todas estas este concepto de mapas, ¿cuál sería la que usted aceptaría? O cuál, ¿Cuál sería la que usted tomaría? Um, accept the suggestion. Mm, bueno, yo, yo había pensado que usted sí lo, lo, iba, lo, iba, lo iba a rechazar porque primero, <risa> primero, o sea. Que, que me interesa a mí, ¿verdad? O sea, soy un, un, un profesor metido, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le digo, José, por favor, píntese eh, o si sí, póngase un color negro en su cabello porque no me gusta ver a la gente de pelo blanco en mi clase. Viene usted y rechaza esa sugerencia. Okay. Refuse, refusing that suggestion. Refusing that exactly. Refusing that suggestion. No. Suggestion. 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 Okay. suggestion. All right, so. Ahí con el, con la práctica ya va a ver que ya lo va a decir bien. Entonces, así okay. estamos. Es, es un ejemplo bien, o sea, entendible, ¿verdad? Entonces, voy a parar aquí. Permítame un momento. Voy a pasar lista rápidamente si no se nos olvida. Permítame. Pero sí me estamos, estamos claros. Este tema lo vamos a, lo vamos a ampliar más. No, sé, no crea que lo vamos a dejar hasta acá, ¿ok? No se preocupe. Vamos a ver. Este, vamos a ver. Abimael, Abimael Octavio, Octavino Ramírez López. Present. Thank you, sir. Aleida Arely García Martínez. Present. Thank you, Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Pérez. Present. Diego Francisco Aguilera Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth Enrique Rivera de López. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco Armando García Florentino. Francisco, Present. thank you, Gabriel, I, Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. I'm here. Thank you, Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Iris Vanessa Queller uh, Beatriz. Here. Isaac, thank you. Isaac Adonai Tuar. Isaac Adonai Tuar. Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. Joao Mauricio Vilalta uh, Sorto. Here, sir. Thank you, sir. Jose Herminio Ramirez Umaña. Present. Thank you, sir. Jose Heriberto Duran Prado. Here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Juana Inés, uh, Inés uh, Velasquez Carranza. Present. Thank you, Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Linda Hazel Fernand Diaz. Present. Maria del Carmen Guzmán Alvarado. Present, teacher. Miriam Dorlin Escobar Serran. Present. Miriam Maricela Escobar Serrón. Present. Thank you, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present, teacher. Orquídea, thank you, Orquídea Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernández. Patricia del Carmen Alfaro Present, de Hernández. Teacher. Thank you, Rosa Present, Esperanza teacher. Pleites Martinez. Thank you. Present, teacher. Thank you, Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Present. Thank you, Sonia Egriselda Pinti de Mengiver. Here, coach. 
Thank you, Susana Margarita, Jaime Mejia. Susana Margarita, Jaime Mejia. She was here. I don't know what happens. All right, Tomas Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. Present. Thank you, and Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get back on track. Uh, let's wait. Uh, yes, sir. Dígame. Eh, cuando mencionó, no tenía habilitado mi micrófono. ¿Quién es usted? ¿Quién, ¿Quién es usted, caballero? Henry Flores. Henry Flores, ok, presente por la patria. Aquí estamos. Yes, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Yes, very good, very good. Ok, so, give me one second. Let's see, we were here. Ok. Let's wait a couple more minutes, all right? No se me vaya todavía. No sé que es viernes si quieren ir a descansar, ¿ok? So, estábamos acá, guys. All right, so, decía este, esta parte. Okay. Asking for suggestions, right? So, asking for, for suggestions in the way someone asks, asking suggestions in English when we have a problem. Then use the following formula, ¿ok? So, dice, what do you advise me to do? What should I do? What are I to do? Do you have any suggestions? I'm sorry. Do you have Do you have any suggestion for me? So, estas son las como usted se está preguntando. ¿Qué me sugieres que yo haga? All right. So, ¿qué debería yo hacer? ¿Tienes alguna 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 sugerencia para mí? ¿Verdad? Estas son las maneras en que usted va a hacer las las preguntas. Er, eh, pregu perdón. ¿Cómo usted va a preguntar una una suggestion, right? ¿Qué dijimos que era una suggestion? Un... Sugerencia. Una, una sugerencia. Una sugerencia. Excellent, ok. Bueno, vamos a give suggestion. ¿no? Esta es la parte donde usted va a dar las... Es donde usted va a dar sugerencias. All right. Entonces, para complementar, le voy a dar... Esto lo vamos a ver el lunes, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí. Ayer les dije, no, mañana, no hay, mañana no hay clases y todo. Dije, no, sí hay clases. Hoy, hoy sí les voy, a, les, les voy a decir, el lunes vamos a revisar esta clase y así vamos a ir, ¿verdad? Porque una hora, como sabemos, es muy poco, pero me gusta que vamos entendiendo todo. Mi advice, before I let you go, guys, mi advice, tenía hasta unos juegos que no los terminé de ver ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero igual, este, quiero ver cuánto tenemos. What time it is? What time it is? No, it's two o'clock. Let's see. Déjeme ver. Rápido, 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 rápido. Vamos a ver. Es que quería que enseñarles esto. Vamos a ver si lo puedo ver. Help problems. Aquí tenía este. Uh, the will of everything. Well, ya lo vimos. Bueno, anyways. Lo vamos a ver el lunes. Ok, guys. Uh, then the idea, before I let you go, guys, the idea of this it, Probably you're gonna be man, Mrs. Camilla always repeat the same thing, and he is telling us the same thing every single night. Yes, les digo todas las cosas siempre para que no se les olvide. All right, yo sé que a veces no nos, no nos gusta que nos digan las cosas, no nos gusta, pero yo a mí sí me gusta decírselas. Todo lo que estamos viendo, mis eh, queridos estudiantes, all right, es que está relacionado. All right, no solo me vaya dejando pasar. El tema por tema. Ah, suggestions. Ah, connectors. Ah, uh, irregular verbs. Ah, adverse of frequency. No, 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 no. no Acuérdese que de ahora en adelante, you need to apply, you need to mention, and I suggest you to use, you see what I'm talking, how, how, how I am talking to you? I suggest you to practice all the topics, all the topics, and Gather, ajúntelos todos, ajun, ajúntelos, no sé si ajun, no, así se dice. Dios mío, me está únalos, saliendo, se me, se, me está, se me está saliendo el, el, el folclor, Dios guarde. La vez pasada le dije, le dije, vendió y ajúntelos, le dije, Dios mío, <risa> qué pena. All right, so, ok, bueno, usted me, enten, usted me, usted me entendió, ¿verdad? Usted me entendió. Una los vaya, ajúntelos, eso, eso, esos temas, ¿verdad? Usted me entendió, entonces, practíquelos, all right? So, gather, es que mire, créame de que cuando usted está hablando inglés, all, uh, when you talk English every day and all the time, your environment is in English, créame de que se le, le cambia a uno la percepción, se le olvidan las palabras, y como no las usa, uno usa lo más, 
lo más, eh, lo más fácil. Y ya va a ver que un día se, se va a acordar de mí, se va a reír y, dijo, y va a decir, lo mismo me pasó que le pasó al teacher la vez pasada. Dijo, ajúntelos. En vez de decir únalos, digo, ajúntel, ajúntelos. Bueno, unamos las palabras, unamos los temas, guys. Try to use all the topics that we've been checking so far. All right. And believe it or not, your expressions, your vocabulary will be better. All right. What I'm trying to tell you is that you need to use everything because you have to. You need to. Otherwise, your English will be poor. De otra manera, su inglés va a ser bien pobre. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? No, por eso yo le estoy mandando las PPTs. Las PPTs no se las mando para que las tenga de adorno. Se las mando para que las practique, practique, practique. Y créame que más adelante usted va a decir, hey, M aquí. Now I am talking good English. Now I express myself in a better way. All right? So, if you don't have any questions, guys, thank you so much. I see you on Monday. God's will. Have a rest. I mean, have a good night and try to sleep. Try to rest, okay? And if you go to the beach, all right? So, ya sabe, verdad? Que le maneje otro, verdad? Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. I see you Monday. Thank you. Bye. See you Monday. Monday. Thank you, this guy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Very nice class. Right on my class. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye, Arcadia. Bye, Jose. Bye, Juana. Bye, Laura. Bye, Gabriel. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Very good. Very good.